Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to utilize all the things on the left side of your PCO plan. So if you look at my screen here, you see times, teams, files, and notes. And as a producer, this side excites me because it eliminates the questions, the most common questions that a lot of our volunteers and staff are asking. Asking, what time are call times? Who is scheduled? What do you want the band to do in this specific moment? What do you want uh, vocals to do? What are the stage layouts? All those questions can be answered right here on the left side of my screen. We're gonna start with times. We're gonna go to add. Uh, this service is on a Tuesday, so this may be a special event. It's at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. I'm gonna hit vocal reminders. I'm not gonna do reminders on all this, but feel free to do reminders all down through here, one day out, two days out, 30 minutes for whatever that case is, and I'm gonna hit save. It's going to dump that right here, service times right at 9 a.m. I'm gonna hit another one. I'm gonna hit add. Rehearsals, let's say all team rehearsal is at, we're gonna to go to the Monday before, and we're gonna call that a five o'clock rehearsal. So we're gonna make sure we go PM here, and then we're gonna say it's gonna be done at 7 PM. It's gonna tell you that you're not in PM. And then uh, assign teams, we're not gonna do that quite yet, um, but, because I wanna show you how to build teams, but you would go here and you would click all the teams that you want utilized in this. We'll hit bands for now, we'll hit one day before, and then we'll hit save. You're gonna see it's gonna throw it over here to rehearsal times. And then now we're gonna hit add again. Call times are important. Anything that you can put in as far as times go, utilize this. I'm gonna give you two examples. One example, I'm gonna say, Call time. Now, this can be call times for band, call time for vocals, call times for production team. For now, we're gonna do call time, all teams, okay? I want people there two hours before service, so we're gonna do 7 a.m. I like to do this, um, these call times. I wanna see when they're really expected to be in the building. So 7, 7 a.m. in the building, be in ready to go. 10.30 is when more than likely you'll be able to leave the building. Service is nine to 10, gives you 30 minutes uh, afterwards to hang and chill. It's really just showing you the expectations of the time commitment for that weekend. You can go to sign teams again, you can do that, you can do reminders, whatever you wanna do, utilize that. We'll get into that here in a few minutes. I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so now that we have service times in, rehearsal times and other times, this is something that you should point volunteers and staff to when they ask, hey, what time is service, or hey, what are call times? We don't wanna be rude when we point people towards that, but we do utilize PCO. We do pay for it, so let's get our teams on it and create the culture of PCO really is, Planning Center Online really is all the details that we need to have a uh, effective um, experience, an effective service in your church. Starting with times is a huge deal. Now, we're gonna go to teams, actions. We all know we need teams. Needed positions is what I would recommend you doing. Um, needed positions, we know we need a front of house engineer. We know we need a producer. You know, you're gonna go through here and select your needs. We know we need CG1 based off the flow we built. You know, they're gonna be throwing videos, lyrics, you know, experience director. Again, I know these titles look different for every church. This is just an example. We go, let's go ahead and go uh, lighting designer. We'll say lighting designer and lighting operator, the same thing in this example. Um, we got producer in there already, production manager, we'll say we'll throw in a production manager, stage manager, we'll throw in one stage team. You know, I'm just really building it out. You're gonna see a, a video director spot and so forth. You'll see all through these. And you can get in actually, and you can create and you can customize these titles to whatever you'd like. But for now, we went ahead and already pre-did all this and you can see what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna go back up, I'm gonna hit done. So now all these positions are in there. I'm just gonna do one for now, which is just generalized production. I'm gonna go to A1, you can see there, and you can start picking in names. You can dump those names in, et cetera. And that's how you would schedule a team on the side. It's important that you schedule everybody that's gonna be taking place in your Planning Center online experience. Why is it important? For many reasons. One big reason, as a producer, as a staff member, as someone who's been placed in charge of the experience, it's good to know who is all gonna be there that weekend. So for me as a pastoral um, title or me as a director of the experience, for me to get on the night before and say, oh, that's cool, Phil's on this weekend. Or hey, that's cool, um, so-and-so's on. It's just good for me to see that. In addition though, there are also other teams that utilize Planning Center like catering, 
how do I know how to prepare catering if I don't know who is going to be there on the weekend? So for someone like catering, they can get on and see, okay, well, we have 14 people scheduled in production. We have seven people scheduled in vocals or and band and so forth. So then we can prepare. It's just a great tool. Make sure you utilize that. That is scheduling. I know most of us do, but just a reminder on why it's important to make sure everyone is scheduled and effective in those regards. Another reason why um, it's important to make sure everyone is scheduled. As an example, I know at MXU, we're always encouraging our audio engineers and key roles on the weekend to know the names. It is not a positive culture for an audio engineer to say, hey, guitar player, can I check your guitar, please? But when the audio engineer can look at a PCO, print it off in front of them and say, hey, Greg, good to see you this morning. Go ahead and check for me. That goes a long ways. Having that as a reference and PCO is only going to increase culture in those ways of people knowing names. Another reason why we want to utilize and schedule everyone on the weekend in those uh, slots. And also when you hit emails out, it handles, PCO handles all the emails, and everything you need to make sure communication is key for those scheduled positions on Teams. Okay, files. Files is a cool uh, feature here. Files is going to be something that you can drop in stage layouts, you can drop in videos. So example, as a producer, worship pastor, creative director, uh, production associate, A1, it doesn't matter your position, I can shoot a video on my iPhone and I can say, hey guys, thanks for uh, uh, serving this weekend. I just want to give you 45 seconds of what this weekend is about. Pastor's going to be talking about A, you know, we're doing baptisms at the end. This can be a vision piece. You can drop that video by dropping it in the files here and it's something that your teams can watch. Right below that is notes. You can see over here in categories, you can see right here during the prayer, campus pastors on stage, we're handheld five, house lights are at 25%, but right here it says band, band is grooving. So as a someone in the band, I'm gonna be asking, what am I grooving? What are we playing? What are we doing? You'll see it says C notes. As a musician, I can go down to notes, I can select notes, for now it's not in there, but we'll hit add, and it can say band, and it can say uh, we are playing Good Grace Bridge, no vocals. Hit save. And so now when I see C notes and band grooves for prayer, it says we are playing Good Grace Bridge, no vocals. One thing I left out, one small detail to know during prayer. Right? We want to just utilize our notes, utilize PCO to the best we can to eliminate questions, to make sure our team is well resourced and they are ready to have an effective weekend based off what you've done during the week in Planning Center. So again, there's how you would utilize all four of those things on the side of PCO, times, teams, files, and notes.